Hey, you are with the devil. Oh, yeah. Now, um, so I got the Fire Stick uh, 4K Max. Okay, that's a mouthful, isn't it? What are they going to stick on next year's version? Max Max? Max Plus? I don't know. Anyway, they need to come up with a better name. Uh, and I know I'm a bit late to the game, but hear me out, okay? And everyone else has done their reviews about a month ago. But if you watch my channel, you know I'm a skin flint. I don't like to spend a lot of money. I'm always out for a bargain. Never like to pay full price. So I wanted to wait until Black Friday. And I saved 18 quid, so I got it for £37 instead of £55. So all of my others are suckers. Just to get the video out first and you know, get more views. Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Um, so, and before you say it, I haven't unpacked it yet, okay? This is my old fire stick, okay? This is the new one's in here. So, first things first, let's have a look in the box. Very nice. Okay, pretty standard. Looks very similar to the old fire stick. Or the older one, I say it's only a couple of years old. You've got your, your actual stick there, your remote control, power lead. This is an extension to go in your HDMI in the back if it won't fit because it's quite chunky. You pop that in there, pop that into your HDMI and it hangs down. And you've got your power brick there. Little basic, some basic instructions, nothing much. Um, what I do like about it straight off is that it's got dedicated buttons here. Very similar to Roku actually. Uh, Roku do a similar thing with buttons. So on, on ours you've got Prime Video, Netflix, Disney and Amazon Music. Now I don't think they've got Amazon Music in the US, which sucks a bit. Uh, you've got some rubbish, I don't know, it must be more popular over there. Was it Hulu, Hulu or something like that? Anyway, um, but I use Amazon Music a lot on my uh, Fire Stick. So that's really handy that I can just press it and it goes straight into it. Marvellous. Now if you look at the old Fire Stick, the old Fire Stick here, you can see pretty much the same thing. Uh, it's just the gubbins have been changed inside. The only difference is, is the logos are slightly different. They've got Fire TV written on the new one. And the remote, again, it's very similar. Except for there's buttons there. You've got the buttons here. And they've moved the mute button to here. And then they've added this button here, which is your TV guide. Okay, while we're waiting for uh, the new Fire Stick to update, it's putting some new software on it. I don't know what but it's taken a few minutes to update. So I'll just go through the specs compared to the other ones. Um, so you can see, here's the new Fire Stick Max and pretty much does everything the Fire K4 Stick does except uh, it's got Wi-Fi 6 support and live picture in picture. Now I haven't got a, any cameras connected to it. So I haven't got a, a ring doorbell. So it doesn't really make much difference to me. This, you know, if I get one in the future, I'm future proofing uh, my, my home. So there you go. It's got Dolby Atmos. Uh, they've increased the memory by uh, half a gig, up to two for 1.5 gigabytes here. Uh, storage is the same. Uh, and what they've done, they've actually boosted the CPU, not by much, by 0.1 gigahertz. And the GB GPU has seen a, an improvement of 100 megahertz. So it, it will give it a little bit more oomph. It's obviously not as good as the Cube. But yeah, it should definitely be a little bit faster. By not by much, but we'll be testing that in a second. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna check is the boot time. How fast do they take to come on? Let's have a look. I'm gonna switch it on now. Okay, so that was the new Fire Stick Max. Let's see what the old Fire Stick 4K does.
Well, would you believe it? Ooh, 15 seconds difference. So the new 4K Max was 36.15 and the old 4K was 51.13 seconds to launch, to, re to boot up. So quite a big difference, really. I, I know it's only 15 seconds, but if, if you're impatient like me, I'm not waiting 15 seconds. Who do you think I am? Do you know who I am? <laughs> 15 seconds? It is only 15 seconds, so there we are. But still, quite a marked difference. Anyway, now I want to test um, how long it takes to launch an app right from the off. So I'm going to go into Netflix, launch that, and see how long it takes. Now, here's the thing. If I launch it, then come out, and then go back into it while the stick is still on, it'll remember it and go in straight away. So I want to launch it right from just after it's booted up. So it's just booted up. I haven't been into any of the apps. So I'm going to go into Netflix and see how long it takes uh, to launch it compared to the new 4K Max. This is the old one I got plugged in here. Okay, so let's have a look. And there you go. So the new uh, Fire Stick Max was 11 seconds faster launching the Netflix app from the off. Uh, 18 seconds for the Max, 29 seconds uh, for the old Fire Stick. So it's definitely faster uh, and snappier. So Amazon weren't lying this time, which is unusual because normally they tell porkies. <whistles> yeah, the Echo 4th Gen is much faster because of the new processor. <whistles> yeah, whatever. <laughs> right. I did a video on that to see if it was faster, and it wasn't. They're full of shit. Okay, so at least they're telling the truth this time. It is faster, it is snappier. Um, what's the picture better on either one? Well, I've taken some stills here. Have a look at them, see what you think. Um, personally, for me, I couldn't see any difference, any difference between the pictures, uh, but here's the thing, I am colorblind. So if you can see any difference in the, in the, in the colors, than I can, then please let me know in the comment section below because I can't tell. But to me, uh, I couldn't tell any difference between the picture of either one. So they look about the same. Um, a lot of people will tell you uh, in the previous reviews and stuff, if you've got a 4K Fire Stick already, there's no point getting the new one. Well, I disagree. I disagree. It is faster. Plus, you're future proofing yourself. Okay, so you may as well do it now while it's on sale. And if you do miss the sale, then get it when it's on sale next time. You know, don't get it full price because it's always on sale all the time. Uh, but you want to future proof yourself. So look, my router or router, as they say in the US, okay, isn't Wi-Fi 6 compatible. It's only Wi-Fi 5. So, but my internet provider will probably start providing Wi-Fi 6 routers, routers, okay, in the near future. And I will probably get one. Uh, so therefore, my stick's ready for when that happens, and it's not far off. So I'd say get one. Why not? I mean, I got it for 37 quid. It's not a lot of money, is it? You know. So deal yourself in. Anyway, that wrap, but wraps up the video for today. Uh, like, subscribe, all that nonsense, and I'll catch you in the next video.